It might be the times, or it might be my age, but I hear many people lamenting. Conversation starts with the question, do you know what's wrong with this thing, that policy, or these people? So I thought it might be interesting to jump on that bandwagon. But we shall not stop there with the lamentation. We shall talk about how much better it could be, and even more, how we'll get there. So let's start with what's wrong with enterprise mobility. First of all, you have too many paper-based processes. Companies stuck entirely or partially in the debt tree business. You know, Tibor, your friendly technician, might use his phone to find your address to fix your AC. But then he takes out a bunch of papers to consult what's wrong and how to open the machine. And finally, the next bundle is for you to see what he did so that you can sign it. Well, we might be, I don't know, halfway there. You know, half of the companies use some digital tools. You know, but paper-free is still a distant dream for many. Just recently, we had a conversation with a customer stuck with 300 different paper forms. Can you imagine the pain of living with that? Now, the next step is the laptop cowboys. You know, where you sit together, wait for the laptop to boot, maybe for the app to start. Maybe they ask you for your Wi-Fi password. Did you ever have to sign your name on a laptop touchpad? Well, I did. Terrible experience. Took me three times and it still didn't look like anything like my name. Altogether, it's a painful waiting game for all involved. You know, and therefore, companies are replacing laptops with tablets and phones. Because users were just writing stuff down on paper and typing it up in the evening or even worse on Friday when they don't remember anything. Next stop, mobile apps. What's wrong with them? Well, how much time do you have? Well, it only works on Apple or it only works on Android. And if it works on both, for sure it doesn't work on Windows. So what's the solution? Let's build a web page and package it for each platform. Yeah, you can just shrink your web page and it will work. Not only will it not run everywhere, but the monitor versus the phone display will make it unusable even if it runs. Now imagine you know, the app where you need to click on a country select field. It opens a pop-up that is just too large for your screen, so you zoom around and pan around until you find your country. All the while, you know, the stuff is just randomly scrolling around the screen. Finally, you found your country, but now the OK button is off the screen, so you need to scroll some more. And then you accidentally do the navigate back gesture, and you lose your data. You lose your time, you, you, you lose your temper. Worst case, you lose your device as it flies out of the window. Now, let's say you have the app, you know, the, it kind of works, or you just learn to live with it. But don't even get me started on variables, because they're trying it again. I've seen it. They're trying to shrink down to the variable from big screens. Well, it didn't work before, and it will not work this time. So let's say you have the mobile app, but how do you manage it? Manage what? Well, how do you manage your enterprise mobility? Is your data secure? Who can access it? Well, these days, if you don't have some local cache, you can just throw away that app. Online-only tools might work in the office. Well, usually, it is what we call the pray or pay game. You either buy and pay for an MDM solution, pay for setup, pay for administration, pay for user frustration, or you pray, nothing, go, nothing will go wrong. Hopefully, your users have a better pin than four ones, and they did not leave the Remember Me checkbox selected. Well, is this the best we can do in 2021? But there is an even worse problem. The top one reason why projects fail is user adoption. You absolutely have to have a tool to see what's going on. Are your users working? What kind of problems are they facing? Is the trend of people working going up? Is there a phone, a particular phone, causing most of the problems? Well, without data and a dashboard that actually explains the data, without mobility management, you are back to pay or pray. Pay for one tool after another, 
and just pray it will stick. So today we have mediocre mobile apps and mobile management that is an afterthought at best. But we are not done yet. Let's look at the solutions for enterprises. You know, all of these management something systems, your CRMs, your ERPs, your asset management, your document management, your content management, and so on. So let's say you have a system and now you need to feed it. So what usually happens is you, the users, are reduced to data entry. You must report, you know, feed me, how much time you spent working, how much material you used. Well, how about helping a little instead? Don't just tell me to get to the client. Remind me, show me the road. Don't just ask me how much material I used. Tell me how much I need to stack in my van in the morning. You know, don't just stand there and measure my time. I can hear the clock ticking myself. Please give me some good advice instead. No way I can know every AC we have and how they go kaput. You know, they are called management systems and in fact they are these little managers. But don't just boss people around. Show some leadership. Well, the next problem is one of my favorite, you know, planning. Plan this, plan that, let the AI plan it. Now, don't get me wrong, as President Eisenhower said, planning is everything. But he also said, plans are useless. Or if I might be blunt, like Mike Tyson said, everybody has a plan until they are punched in the face. Yes, reality with its traffic jams, unreliable weather, chaotic people, feels like a punch. Therefore, before our AI overlords make us into predictable robots, let us plan and manage the chaos in the field, when it happens, as it happens. Now let's say you found an excellent solution. You, know, you jump the hurdle of data entry, management drones, your solution actually empowers your users. Well, you're not done, not even close. Does your solution help you to improve? Well, what do you need? to know to improve. Well, you need data, you need feedback, you need knowledge. And where is this knowledge? Well, it's out there in people's minds, in the interactions between client and field rep and technician and sales guy. Or you have a remote help solution. Okay, so you're gonna clone your top experts. Or is your answer your cloud library? Well, who is putting the books in there? You know, it reminds me a little bit of a friend who bought all the best gear for running. You know, shoes that talk to his watch and all of that stuff. And he was so satisfied that he never actually went for a run. So don't just pick up the gear. Empower your users to collect the insights and knowledge where it happens. The thing that I believe is most wrong is companies buying custom development. Please just don't. I hope we don't have to go into detail, but if it's not a tiny, very specialized component, just say no. But if you insist, let me just give you some numbers. Third of projects fail completely. 50% of the rest is roughly twice as expensive. Now, only one in six projects actually goes right. You know which one those are, right? The really, really small and well-defined ones. So go for it if you know very precisely what you need. But it's likely there is a better solution than starting a software development project. Yeah, so let's buy the off-the-shelf product, right? But does it really work for you? you know, does it understand you, your country, your industry, your language, your processes, your other systems? No, it can't. So the platform is the answer, right? You know, a configurable, rapid, service mobility oriented, you know, and, and a partnership of technology provider and a partner who figuratively and literally speaks your language. Yeah? So this combination, this partnership. Unfortunately, the reality of partnerships is rather sad. What you have these days is David versus Goliath. Imagine you as the partner, you want to build an innovative solution. Operators in a factory using smart glasses, the device is expensive, so it will be shared and it will be used 24-7. Now ask yourself, as the partner, 
How can I make the technology work? But also, how can I make the licensing, the business work? Is there someone who will listen to me? Well, what you get instead is Goliath dictating the terms. When and how some features can be used. What features will be made. Controlling and randomly changing licensing. Is that a partnership? So how should it be instead? The future of computing is ambient computing. Let's unpack that a little bit. Imagine you as a technician on your daily job. Your car ready, knows the route. The cloud system will let your customer's building system know that you'll be arriving, so you can proceed directly to parking. Your variable has received an access token, no need to wait on the reception. Well, the wall monitor highlights your interior route, and once you get to the elevator, it will greet you a good day, and the big advertisement screen inside turns into a debugging screen. You'll disable the safeties and access the service area. The elevator was flagged for maintenance because you know, travelers Average count and weight did not match the prediction. Blame it on the 2030 pandemic. With the additional vibrations combined with temperature, humidity, the AI suggested repair actions. Because there is a 75% chance of corrosion buildup, so cylinders need to be replaced. Afterward, a small insect size drone flies over the elevator shaft. And you watch it on your AR glasses, but you take over the automated flyover to go back a few meters. You saw a part that doesn't look right, although the system has not yet reported any issues. So you overlay the video with images of the same but broken parts. You record short instructions for younger colleagues on how to spot corrosion. Well, now the maintenance is over. You updated smooth uh, jazz elevator music and the playlist starts. A bill is generated, sent to your elevator operator, and then next to the building operator. And as you start your car, your variable vibrates as the Dodge coins arrived on your account. While your car self-drives to the following site, you are looking through work order listings, because your app flagged some of your side gig of historic elevator repairmen. Now, two things are clear. First of all, the future is already here. And the second, I don't really know much about elevators. We already live with multiple devices. Yeah? Today, we own them. But intelligent screens and voice assistant systems are taking over the world, our houses, our cars, and they will not stop there. Connected systems that work in the background but also go where you go. And next time you come and visit us in our office, you can try it out. Well, the parking system for now. Intelligent robots, drones, but also cars and buildings. They do their own thing these days, but they also wait for our commands and they learn from us. So the future is computing everywhere with solutions that understand what you mean where you just you know, say or gesture or touch, and you don't have to explain all the steps. If you want to be fancy, we can call it declarative computing. In reality, it's just Google search or maps. You know, I tell you what I want to eat, and you go and figure out how to find it and how to drive me there. So how do we get to this future? Well, we need people who understand elevators, and utilities, and healthcare, and energy. We need people who are hungry, hungry to create innovative experiences for new types of users. We need people who build human-centric software. Software that empowers workers, makes today's and future devices work for them. But not just one solution, we need a declarative platform where experts can design what should happen, not program how. And we need all of these people to work together as partners. And when it all works together, you get success stories, like the one you are about to see next. 
Dragger, an international leader in manufacturing, servicing, medical and safety technology, has been using RESCO for over a year. Together with their implementation partner, Evanade, they built a customized RESCO app for the field engineers. See for yourself how they translated business requirements into a piece of human-centric software. Hello, my name is Hendrik Hansen and I work as a global process IT expert for Drega in Lübeck. A couple of years ago we started to migrate our uh, CRM 2011 system uh, to the cloud, to the new Dynamics 365 environment. On the way we discovered uh, that the offline client that we were using for the 2011 solution was not working for the, for the new solution and we had to look for um, an alternative on the market. Therefore, we decided to use the RESCO uh, mobile CRM uh, as a basis for our customized solution. What did we do to uh, translate the business requirements into a piece of software? We formed a, co a so-called co-creation group with end users and key users, which were uh, a vital success factor in the project. What was vital for the success that we collected the feedback of those uh, users and uh, adjusted the requirements along the way. The process itself was very fast, so we could deliver uh, more than a uh, MVP at the end of our six-month development period. The result, the MVP or the, the final version was tested in a pilot in UK and we received very positive feedback from all over the place. Especially the performance of the system and the integration of our own tools uh, to record test results uh, was very valued by the, by the end users. So therefore I would like to thank Resco and Evernate for their support along the way. And we, we are now happy that we have a solution that we can roll out to all of our technicians. Hello, my name is Hauke Jakobsen. I'm an IT architect for Microsoft Dynamics 365 Field Service at Draeger. Within six months, we de developed and customized a working and integrated solution with Resco Mobile CRM and our custom-built test instruction software. It was about 80% customization and 20% development, which made the um, development cycle and the uh, delivery cycle very quickly. We pushed the limits of the solution by developing bulk actions for most of the use cases. It is now possible to record time and material positions for an indefinite number of service order in one go. We can create cost estimations offline and send them um, to the back office um, when going online. And it is also possible uh, to check sophisticated business rules when a service order is completed in bulk. The time to sync offline data to the server is now down to one minute from over 45 minutes in the former solution. We sync over 1 million records in 10 to 15 minutes for an initial synchronization. This is a great improvement to the former solution using the Microsoft CRM 2011 Outlook offline client. Thank you very much again, Resco and Evernate, for the outstanding support during the initial um, software development project and the ongoing rollouts. Inspectors, repairmen, technicians, frontline and healthcare workers, the field staff. They are the heart of companies performing critical jobs. Their effectiveness and satisfaction are key to a healthy functioning business. They don't want to be reduced to data entry machines. They want to focus on the job at hand. For Resco, enterprise mobility is crucial. We believe it can make or break companies. It doesn't matter if you have the latest machine learning prediction models if the field technicians don't use the app. So the mobile experience must be perfect. And planning the day 
is where it all starts. Having a good overview of what is ahead and being able to plan the day most effectively is what makes field application valuable and used. It gives a bit of control over the chaos. That is why, recently, we have focused on our Route Planner component to make it a central piece of the field technician's day. And we've even taken it a step further. Routes AI, the built-in personal route optimization, considers opening hours, current and predicted traffic, and appointments which can't be rescheduled, all to make the planning of the day effortless, with just a single tap. Similarly, data entry can easily become a dreaded operation. Streamlined, focused, unobtrusive is the goal, because any system is only as good as the data you put in. A well-structured questionnaire can go a long way. With our latest release, we've made them more adaptable. You can show the questions in a grid to streamline the flow using columns and insert buttons for direct actions inside the form. And we've made the questionnaire more focused. Now you can set up the forum so that just one group is visible at a time, providing a guided process flow indicating which groups have been completed and which not. To create a well-structured questionnaire, we want to empower the business user to quickly start from existing material. Oftentimes the form is already present in some digital format, but needs to be recreated in Questionnaire Designer to be used in the mobile app. With the recently available Autumn release, it is possible to import Excel files, and soon you can expect to use PDFs. The field technicians are performing a lot of tasks with the mobile app, besides planning their day or entering data. They can generate reports, capture photos, they can collect payments. The fintech landscape is experiencing a revolution as we speak. New methods of payments as well as financial infrastructure are appearing and closed proprietary banking systems are suddenly becoming accessible. We are opening the door to this world and putting mobile payments on our roadmap so that any worker enabled with our technology can reliably collect payments directly from consumers. And I believe soon this will echo in the B2B space as well. Mobile phones are becoming ubiquitous and everywhere. What is the next frontier of mobility? Will it become almost invisible? Will the devices be even less obtrusive? What is the next step for ambient computing? We believe Realware is on the right track with their HMT1 device. For industrial use cases, it is a solid device, and as any mobile device, it requires streamlined and focused data entry. We have tailored our user interface for this device, where each interaction is presented on a separate screen. By being fully voice operated, this enabled a surprisingly quick hands-free operation. If a great mobile experience is at the heart of successful service companies, then the ability to tailor that experience and build processes around it is paramount. Enter our service platform, built to support service companies and fieldwork of many shapes and sizes. It comes with pre-built modules to address common operations such as preventive maintenance, incident management and asset hierarchies with soon to be available locations and floor plans for easier navigation on the spot. A lot of details about these modules will be provided in the forthcoming sessions about our new field service product and platform. A major component to service, but generally any type of work, is knowledge. Lack of knowledge on the spot is a problem that many field operations struggle with. A technician at customers who doesn't know how to handle the situation means inefficiency for the customer as well as for the service company. We believe this is a major problem that is only going to get more prominent. The expertise of experienced workers is getting lost if not captured with tools that allow it efficiently and effectively. This is such an important area that in May 
we've launched Resco Houston, a dedicated product addressing the knowledge gap for multiple domains. And I recommend you check it in a session later today. It enables harvesting knowledge and then presenting it as a guide. It allows executing remote AR calls, which together create an opportunity to address this growing knowledge problem for your customers. But today, the technology landscape of every company contains multiple systems. One for invoicing, one for resource planning, another one for field service. No single system lives alone. That is why integration and connectivity with other systems is our top priority. Dynamics 365 customer engagement apps are leaders in their field, recognized by analysts such as Gartner. Our direct integration is seamless as they continue to be our major targets. We are focusing more and more on enterprise features that benefit the most mature and demanding customers. Our tools to adapt, adjust, and fine-tune synchronization are unparalleled. We are now bundling multiple attachments to save API calls. The questionnaires come with settings to optimize database space. Visibility into the synchronization process and management of synchronization via the Sync dashboard are pillars for building efficient data flows between server and mobile devices. Regardless of what your offline needs are, we have you covered. Dynamics 365 is a family of products, a family that you, our partners and customers are part of, and we are too. Today at Next, we are unveiling our work on integrating Resco Field Service with Business Central to bring our best-in-class work order execution experience there. Dynamics 365 Business Central is the fastest growing ERP solution for small and medium businesses, scoring 1,000 new customers a month with more than 2,000 partners implementing this system. Now being able to utilize the power of Resco as well. And we are not stopping there. You can already use Resco to build applications on Dataverse, Salesforce, and finance and operations will follow. We have created Power Automate Connector and pushed a lot of power into our own ODARA integration component that eliminates the need for any additional middleware. The pandemic has strengthened the shift to different types of work. It has become difficult to predict and demand for services or products. The surges or dips require flexible work arrangement. Companies must deal with this becoming the new normal, and we want to help them react. Very soon, you can expect a dedicated app and experience for contractors, as well as for the contractor management. You can assign work to contractor who can either accept or reject it. Once accepted though, they are provided with the same type of work order execution experience as internal employees. They can capture the material, work and time, as well as photos and so on. This allows any company the ability to easily scale to a contractor type of work next to the existing employee base. This flexibility extends beyond the current situation and can be utilized for seasonal workers, expensive experts, or for targeted expansion. This is a true business enabling capability. The powerful and easy to use mobile experience for technicians, plus the flexible and customizable service platform in the hands of you, our partners, is a dangerously powerful combination. I've seen what you are capable of, and I'm amazed every time. To boost your productivity even more, it is not enough that we provide a powerful platform. You need to manage the solutions you create in a practical way with minimum friction. This applies to deployment to multiple environments or multiple clients, or the ability to build solutions on top of each other. Resco Capsules, our tool to package solutions, currently in preview mode, allows bundling projects, metadata, reports and questionnaires into one package that can be deployed to multiple systems. 
the ability to build dependent capsules or capsules that are locked for editing will follow in the coming months. Our priority is to stay connected to your needs, to actively listen and react. We want your voice represented on our roadmap and remove any barriers for direct feedback. That is why you can now add the feedback directly on our homepage and the Partner Hub. So please, accept my invitation to this conversation. Head over to resco.net slash feedback and let us know what you are missing. And to talk more about our partners and their path to success with Resco, I'd like to hand over the word to Andrew Lorraine, Manager of Strategic Partnerships. Thank you, Yurai. I had just enough time to change into a new outfit. The Resco technology platform is vastly configurable, like Lego blocks you can assemble into any number of solutions. So too is our business platform. We roll up our sleeves, cut out the red tape, and offer flexible ideas that help your sol solutions translate into a competitive advantage for your clients and for your business. In 2021, we added some great new business Lego blocks to help Resco partners thrive in the short and long term. And now they tend to fall into three categories do more with less, be proactive instead of reactive, and control your own destiny. Let's take a look at these ideas using examples from Resco partners who have been achieving exciting results powered by our business support, results we want to replicate with all our partners. First, doing more with less, accomplishing as much as possible with incremental changes. In other words, one small step for investing in our partnership, one giant leap for your results. A great example of this in practice is key to act a long-time Resco partner specializing in building optimization and field service. They've established a very successful vertical, leveraging Resco Mobility and Resco Cloud to build their custom Resco app for daily field service work called Mobile Tech. Resco Inspections made a lot of sense as an add-on product for the 11,000 Mobile Tech users. It would consolidate a range of mobile forms tools being used by their clients into one single app. Not to mention, it would let Ketoact maintain a very strong position on the FSM market with a best-in-class product. Now, technology-wise, incorporating inspections was more or less straightforward. The real challenge was on the business side, convincing busy, traditional-minded customers to embrace a new subscription product. Through our close partnership, we got creative, and we applied some of those unique business blocks to compound the results of this new product release, such as academy courses to enable customers to quickly master the questionnaire designer, internal sales trainings to help key to act sellers optimize their inspections demos, and friendly licensing to help ease the transition to a subscription-based license. Thanks to embracing the possibilities of our business platform, key to act had a successful rollout of inspections. Both back office and field workers raved that consolidating everything into one form's product made such a big difference. In other words, doing more with less, with a tailored business plan to support it. That's the Resco partnership in action. Next, Avanad is a global Resco partner that needs little introduction. Let's hear directly from Rabia Reitmeier, Head of Digital Sales, Service and Marketing at Avanad Germany, on how our partnership allows Avanad to easily pivot to new industries and new use cases with Resco, and to proactively address the problems of today and tomorrow. Hello everyone. For me, it's a great pleasure to be part of this year's Resco.next. My name is Rabia Reitmeier from our German Avana team and I'm responsible for our digital sales service and marketing business. We are the leading Microsoft experts and also proud winners of the Resco Innovation Award for 2020. So in our field service projects, we are using the full potential of the Resco platform to deliver advanced mobile solutions for most challenging conditions and use cases. And our global partnership with Resco is helping us a lot in that area. And that's also why we have implemented Resco for many of our clients, such as ABB Turbo or Drega. And with Resco, we extend Microsoft Dynamics 365 native capabilities with powerful offline, completely customizable functionality and UI and cross-platform support. 
And these are really critical capabilities when it comes to technician success, right? Where access to data and reliable performance are the difference between a job well done and costly delays. And there's really no better example of this in practice than at our client Draeger, an international leader in manufacturing and servicing medical and safety technology. We are now working together with Draeger for so many years and are absolutely proud that they have chosen Rascal's Field Service 2.0 solution to streamline their field work processes and share workflow knowledge across their enterprise and helping now to guide the next generations of field workers. And I'm absolutely glad that they have shared their story with all of you today. And it's a great outcome also for our partnership. And of course, we like to do more in field service. We like to leverage the RESCO platform to empower frontline professionals in new sectors like nonprofits. Our aim is really to prepare organizations for the not so distant future where devices such as assisted reality headsets will be the norm. We see really great potential in this area and that's why we recently also started offering RESCO inspections on real world devices. Many companies are already embracing this next technology wave and uh, definitely our partnership with RESCO allows us to quickly scale this up. Overall, we are very excited about continuing our unique partnership with RESCO. So let's join our forces and build industry leading solutions and accelerate our clients' digital transformation journeys. Now I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of the conference and I wish everyone a fantastic event. Thank you very much. Thanks, Rabia. As Miro mentioned, the technology world features some Goliaths who like to dictate the terms for all the Davids out there. Our recent partnerships with RealWare and Zebra are great examples of the unique flexibility we offer with our partnership. So that bringing a new idea to market isn't such a biblical struggle for Resco partners, rather more about controlling your own destiny. We heard from Avanad about their growing work with Resco and RealWare. In 2021, we partnered with RealWare to design a unique build of inspections that's optimized for the HMT1 headset. Now, we see this as a very practical step for our partners, so you can start addressing the next leap forward in mobile work solutions with the very same Resco platform tools. From the business side, we also see this as a great chance to reimagine software licensing and to work out some creative new business models with our partners. Whether it's evolving from per user to device-based subscriptions, or helping our partners enhance their as-a-service offerings with digital guides and remote support packages via Resco and RealWare. We're keen to hear your ideas and help you put them into practice without the red tape and without any 100-page licensing guides. Resco partners Sognos in Australia and IS in the Czech Republic are some great examples of early adopters of this solution and new business potential. Like RealWare, our work with Zebra and their line of rugged devices not only offers Resco partners a more complete solution, combining powerful hardware and software in one package, but it also showcases the variety of partnership types we're developing. Systems integrators, distributors, value-added resellers. Simply pick the Resco partner plan that suits your business goals and you'll have our full support. Partners like iSafe Mobile in Germany, a RealWare and Zebra value-added reseller and now Resco referral partner and Timcod in France, a Resco distributor and new Resco implementation partner. Both found ways to grow their business with Resco's partnerships, supporting their ambitions, not forcing them into something against their DNA. So if there's one thing to take away from these few stories, it's that our vision for partnerships is the opposite of monolithic, inflexible, and impersonal. Rather, it's all about mixing and matching technology and business ideas, maybe even creating your own, to achieve your competitive edge. And there are great Resco partners leading the way with this, those who are executing and scaling their businesses in their own unique ways. Partners like Field Boss and MedPath in North America, innovating the contractor maintenance and healthcare spaces with Resco and Dynamics, respectively. Or Albatross IT consultants who are creating the next big field service platform in the Nordics with Resco Cloud. Now, at the end of the day, Resco partners are those who chart their own path and achieve real results. Whether that's enhancing your current solution, pivoting to new industries or use cases, or integrating with new systems, or maybe even doing something completely new from the ground up. We've got your back, 
so you can build this thriving, sustainable business. Now let me pass the word back over to Miro to tie it all together and kick off our sessions. We are hungry. Hungry to fix enterprise mobility and build the best service ecosystem with you. Are you hungry? Is there something that drives you up the wall? Something that needs fixing? Or which of our solutions makes sense in your domain? Is it realware? Is it the contractor management? Or maybe mobile payments? Or do you have an idea for a solution to build together? We would love to hear about it. So enjoy the rest of the show and get in touch.